Hello? Isabella? Are you there? Where are you? Oh, hey Rose! I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's the mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Jeez, we're on shift together. You promised. Oh my god, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? You chickened out. Calm down. You know I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. It really takes my breath away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. And even if they are, which they are not, they can't do anything. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that! They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. That was one time, Isabella! Loosen up! Anyway, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Okay, see you. Bye! Who was that? Oh, that? It's just Rose. The one who trained you. You're working together again? Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovations. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Hold on. Is this the same mansion you've been telling everyone about? Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. I mean, no offense, but... You've been freaking out ever since you got assigned to it. I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus. They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate, I'm desperate, it's perfect. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Or Ashton. We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Becca! I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Hey! I eat other things too. That's not going to work on me. 
and I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. <laughs> Didn't I tell you before? You're always free to reheat my leftovers. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ah, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. Well, enough chit-chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. We can catch up later. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet! Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Ah, oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. I'll call you if I still feel bad, and you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. All right, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. Rebecca! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom.
Rose? Guess again. Ash. Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. You mean that thing with Zack? Yeah. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. No, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Around 5, 6 p.m.? I don't know. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house, and we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Ermengarde Mansion? You know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village? I'm on my way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Shut up! <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever. Bye! You planning to go inside that place, Missy? Is there something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace, and I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in their house doesn't want to either. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. No wonder they wanted to get rid of it. M maybe they just didn't like it? You never know. Rose? Rose? Rose, I'm here. I'm here. Where are you?
Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. Come on, Rose, this isn't funny. You know this place gives me the creeps. What the hell? Rose? Rose, is that you? Not funny. I'm leaving you if you don't come out. Not coming out, huh? Fine, I'm going. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? Rose, come on. Where are you? I'm... Attic. What? The attic? Why? Huh? What's this? A letter?
What? Oh my god. Please, no.
Five more minutes, Becca. All right, Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October 21st? Rose. Last one. Can you count to 15 in reverse order? 15, 14, 13, 12 teen? No, that's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. Do it, please. Ah, <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. Are you all right? There... there was someone, Rose. In the attic. Someone? You mean a client? Well, that's unlikely. It, it's probably just one of the cleaning crews. The boss sent a few of them back this morning for some last minute. No, not any of those. They're, ugh, I'm not actually sure. Wait, didn't I call you? You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. Are you really all right? What happened? I... I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And... and there's... whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh. Oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open! We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose! Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I can work.
Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house, alone. And in a mansion this big? Okay. All right, you in. But if I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted. But remember what I said. First sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Miss. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch. Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could please... Thanks. There's no need for it, though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. I'm sorry. Homeowners? Yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today's the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. If you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. something looked odd when I arrived here. Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos.
there seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You could stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella? I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? And hurry! We've still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town. I knew I had to get you. Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Mary Ann. Oh, you know each other? Not at all, ma'am. You mentioned something about a Mary Ann on our way here, darling? Oh, yes, I think I did.
Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing... colorful ones... Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly? And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. Excuse me, everyone? We... we will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. Y 
Yes, ma'am. Oh, look at you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? Wait, ma'am, I... You see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Well, I'm more of a dog person. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon. And it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary... or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> what would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Uh, yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too, and... What's this? That's... Uh, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Darling, Buttercup, art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this... form. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup.
I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... Isabella? Isabella? Are you all right? You're looking pale. The letter. I I'm sorry, I didn't know. Dear me, is Isabella all right? Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance? No, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Isabella, wait! Hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And... Look... Rose, this is... you have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But... I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something, I don't know, this big, I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... What? Wait, no, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought... Hey, it's your own body, and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere I can see you, and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once.
I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please, don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means! <laughs> <laughs> So, are we good? I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose! You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, all right? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who will fetch you, okay? Shit! What's up, Bob Ash from Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for trouble? Shit, Better how loud is lie. this thing even? I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Of all Looking the times to- Better not lie. I'm Ashton Frey! Ah! Hello to you too, scaredy cat. I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way! Oh man, I should have taken a picture. I am so honored you find this funny. 
Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. Talk to yourself? You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? Ash? I could be looking to buy a house. A mansion? Yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. And I, uh, I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. So here, here I am. Uh, figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. I think that makes me a legitimate client. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait. I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, let's just go. Doesn't look like a nothing to me. We still have Zack's movie tonight, remember? It's still early. And didn't you say your shift will end around 5 or 6? What about... Hey, Isabella, wait up! here. <laughs> Sorry. I won't say no to free food, but why are you giving away cereal bars? I always have one on my person, and you look like you're about to pass out back there. Have you eaten lunch yet?
how'd the open house go? The usual. We got a bigger crowd than normal because of the property's fame, but really, no different from the typical open house. On second thought, it actually looks like a fancy party more than an open house. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Weren't you there? I wasn't really listening. I should have asked someone to kick you out. No, you won't. And what makes you so sure? One, ever since you got assigned to this property, you've been freaking out about it. Rebecca's words, not mine. She's been complaining to me about how you talked your ears off, by the way. Two, despite your initial qualms about the place, you still took the job. Which brings us to three. It's been months since you last settled a deal, and you're short on money right now since you're back to your instant noodle diet. How do you even know about the last one? Rebecca. Anyhow, you're hell-bent on selling the mansion. Even if someone you know personally is in the tour group, you aren't going to just kick them out. Every single person who went on your open house is still a prospective client to you. Even me. I hate you. I really hate you right now. <laughs> I'll have you know that there's already someone who's extremely interested in this property. So even if you expressed any sort of interest in it, I don't think they'd be willing to let you have it. Too bad. You don't seem too happy about it. I am happy. Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? Really? And here I was thinking you found another one stuffed in the sofa. Or is it the wardrobe this time? Yeah, well, things happened. Stuff the right couple might not be pleased about. No need to make a fuss about it. It's normal in the business. You made them angry? Not angry, just stuff happened. Like? Things. Did they do anything? Your clients. The rights, was it? You keep asking me about my work, yet you haven't said a single word about yours. That's not fair. Both you and Zack have literally disappeared off the face of the Earth. Didn't we just talk a week ago over chat? That's different. Linking your awful memes in the group chat box every morning isn't exactly a conversation. Excuse me, I don't hear you calling them awful while you're laughing at all of them. Shut up! And you aren't answering my question. All right, all right, lay off on the abuse. Remember that case I mentioned before? We've been trying to pin the bastard down, but it required more work than we anticipated. The guy's slippery like that. We got some good lead months ago.
there's Zack. Hey, hey, you guys! Long time no see. Sup, Z-Man, my main man. What's crack a lackin', my homie? <laughs> Don't stop trying to act black, Ashton. And you're the only one who calls me Z-Man. It's been a while, Zack. I hope you didn't get into trouble again. Not much to get into trouble lately without you, I'm afraid. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Nah, I ended up with Chicken Down stuck on me last time I agreed. I'd really love at least this year to pass without some sort of accident happening again. Hey, I take offense to that. It wasn't that bad. You really have no idea. Hey, I'm kidding. You know you can always count on me. Rebecca's now with you. Is she still sick? A bit. But she's up and went to work this morning. You know she doesn't listen to anyone that's not Ash. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. You're literally the only person she'll listen to when she's feeling stubborn. But don't worry, Zack. She's probably on her way here now. She promised she wouldn't miss your movie. Isabella! Oh, thank goodness! Becca, you're just in time! Becca, you're squishing my face! How are you? Are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? Rose called me earlier. today that's not what I'm talking about how's your head <coughs> oh it's nothing I just slipped off a few steps on my way down. I blacked out for a few seconds and had a minor bump, but it's just that. You blacked out? Uh, it's not something to brush off. Come on, at least let me check it. It's extremely minor. You wouldn't even know it's there. Isabella, this isn't a laughing matter. She did look pale when I saw her. Wow, thanks a lot, Ashton, you traitor. I'll get you back for this. Just you wait. What? I'm just saying it as it is. If you mentioned this earlier, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry. Saw her? Yeah, they arrived together. Bella looked fine to me then. I don't know. Oh, that's... that's good. 
At least she didn't have to travel alone, right? At least. Good. See? I'm okay. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. And... and I don't want to miss Zack's film. We can always watch it some other time. <sighs> Sorry, Zachary. No, it's good. But you guys should really keep it down. We're starting to attract some attention. It's the premiere! The premiere's different! Right, Zack? Not really. But Rebecca has a point. In the end, I think it's your call. Oh, for heaven's sake! Please, Becca. I really don't want to miss it. You're not missing it. We're just moving it on a different day so we can have a... Look, you guys. If she says she's okay, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we can stop her either. Besides, she's still acting like the same old Isabella to me, if she can still run around like that. Why are you taking her side? I'm not. But if she wants to watch Zack's movie with us, I'm not going to stop her. She's probably the one looking forward to it the most. Ash, that's... <sighs> you, of all people, should know... Tell you what, if I notice something amiss with her, I'll take her to the nearest hospital myself. Is that good enough for you? It's always been you with him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. If you say so. Okay, guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna get us some snacks. My treat. And then let's head inside. Uh, anyone here has a smaller bill? I think I do. Hold on. What's this? No! Give it back! It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! Looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to... Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you. Okay. Now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that. It's... Send this to five people, or else. Well, that's... interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? It's not a prank. What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter, and now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys! Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke! Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. If I hadn't gotten away, that thing might have... Right. And in broad daylight, Isabella. Even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. 
There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right now, maybe it's better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother. Guys! Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get together? We haven't seen each other for months. I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat. Please. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby. I'm not one. Oh, don't cry. Stop it. Okay, scaredy cat then. That too. If you repeat that, I swear I'll... <sighs> Let's just go. So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it. Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. Sure, it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure.
I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering his suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You'd do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist, too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about, too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one. But talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things. And probably put your fears to rest, since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... I'll think about it, but if ever, I'd like to give talking to Andrew a try. Is that okay? Won't he have other things to do? He is a bit busy, but he'll make time for me. He's my go-to person when I'm stuck in something. He won't mind if I bring a friend with me this time. If you're sure. I guess that settles it then. Guys, I said keep it down. You keep insisting that we still watch it. You're not even paying attention yourselves. It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary. A good film, mind you. You worked hard on this. The least we could do is watch it with you. And that's what you're all doing. I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now.
Thanks for today, everyone! No problem, Zack. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Huh? Not me. Isabella? Earth to Isabella? Weren't you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... yeah. Just... okay. Sorry. I spaced out. You always do that. See you guys some other time. Y yeah. See ya! Time is it? Oh man, of all the times to oversleep! Towel? Towel? Where's my towel? time for them to call. Hello? Hello? Grace? How are you? Mama! I'm doing okay. How are you guys over there? We're good, we're good. EJ won a storytelling contest at school the other week. Brought home a medal. I thought you should know.
great. That's great. Tell him congratulations from me. And let him know I'm gonna send him a little something extra this Christmas. How about Nico? Karen? Michael? I hope they're okay. They're doing well. They wanted to talk to you, but they're all busy with school. Oh no, that's fine. I don't want to bother them. Just tell them to keep doing their best for me. I'll just call back when I know they're not busy. And Papa? How's Papa doing? Papa... Grace, Papa's... He's having a little difficulty right now. Weak appetite, he's having trouble swallowing, and lost a few pounds. But the doctor said we should keep encouraging him. It just means his body's accepting his new treatment well. The money you sent last time helped a lot to pay for it, by the way. Oh. I see. Th that's good. I'm sure he'll get better soon. Is he well enough to talk? Do you think I'll be able to speak to him, Ma? Listen, Grace. Maybe it's better if we transfer Papa to a different hospital. Somewhere cheaper? What? Why? Did something happen? Is it the deposit issue again? Give me the hospital's number. I'll talk to them. No, it's nothing bad. The service here is good. Too good. Even the doctors. But I'm worried you're working yourself to the ground because of it. Mama, we've been through this before. I want the best for Papa. And don't worry about the bills or the medicine, or me for that matter. I can handle myself. Everything's going well here. In fact, in fact, we're about to close a large sale. I'll have money to send over soon to cover the rest of Papa's treatment. And there's more than enough for Karen, Nico, Michael, and EJ's school tuition, too. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate it. We all do. But I... I just wish you'd come home to us soon. Promise me you'll be there to welcome me when I do, okay? Of course. I'm sorry, Grace. I need to take this for a while. It's okay, Ma. I need to go, too. I've got work today. I'll call again soon, all right? On a Saturday? Oh, never mind. Take care of yourself, dear. I love you. I love you. Bye. <sighs> okay, Isabella. Time to get that mansion sold. Mama? Did you forget anything? Excuse you? I'm too young to be your mom. Are you still sleeping? Hold on, never mind that. Get yourself in the office. Hurry! Office? What about the open house? Oh no. Is it Sir John? Did he hear about yesterday? Am I in trouble? God, oh God, oh God! I'm gonna get yelled at, aren't I? What do I do? Um, I'll buy you an extra box of donuts if... No, 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 it's nothing like that. Will you calm down? Get yourself here, all right? 
I'll tell you everything then. the hell is C? Where are my employees? What the actual fuck, guys? Of all the times to disappear without notice. Here, I need you to help me with these papers. If you could also get these signed and photocopied before lunch today, that would be great. They're buying it? We got a deal? I had to do a little damage control, but they're already interested in acquiring the property, even before they attended the open house. I mean, isn't it obvious? They already hired an interior designer. I've never seen a buyer as aggressive as Madame Wright. She didn't even try to negotiate a lower rate. One at a time, Rose. I can't process everything you're saying at once. What do you mean? They're paying 15% higher than the listing price, as long as we get the paperwork done as soon as possible. I think if we allow it, they'll be paying up front, too. Even with that urban legend? Oh. I was so sure we lost the sale after yesterday. Don't look so surprised. We still have to conduct some last few checks before we completely hand it over to them. Please. I'll happily do the paperwork duty, Rose. I'll even go to the land registry myself and make sure the property changes hands with every single legal blessing. Oh, Isabel! How are you feeling? You looked awfully dreadful yesterday. Isabella, I'm fine now, ma'am. I appreciate your concern. Wonderful. Your team works unbelievably fast.
That settles it then. Uh, are you really sure about this property, ma'am? We could easily find you a bigger one among our current listings. Something with a modern touch? Of course, why wouldn't I be? The house is absolutely perfect, isn't it, darling? A helipad would still be a nice addition. Yes, well, we'll get there eventually, love. As I was saying, if your partner had the documents yesterday, we would have bought it right there immediately. Shame she didn't have it. Well, there's still a few necessary documents we need you to sign after, but we'll let you know once we have those finalized. We'll be handling the process for the rest, so don't worry about it, ma'am. Within a week, I hope. We still have a housewarming party to plan, after all. You know how much thought to be put into those things. There are servants for that, darling. Love, wouldn't it be better if we handled it ourselves? A personal touch of sorts. It is our housewarming party and our new home. No more than a week, ma'am. Barring unexpected delay, of course. You can leave it to us. Excellent. Well then, I'll leave you two to it. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, and before we forget... I know both of you worked hard on getting us this beautiful mansion. Did I mention we reward our people generously? But this is... Ma'am, I can't accept this. Don't you worry, darling. It's a small thing coming from us. Consider this your bonus for a job well done. Oh, before I forget, my lovely interior designer would appreciate it if you hand her a copy of the floor plans as soon as possible. She's dying to work on the house. You can do that, yes? Here's her contact. C certainly, ma'am. We'll have it processed as soon as possible. I knew I could count on you, lovelies. I hope to see you too soon so we can get this closed. Well, the... something. So how does it feel? How does what feel? Your first big multi-million pound sale, silly. I know you've been with us for years, but this has got to be memorable for you. Come on, show some enthusiasm. They gave us a bonus, too. Aside from the commission and the other bonus boss promised. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I don't know. Send it home, probably? All of it? Not everything, of course. Most of it. I'll leave some for my living expenses. Listen here, Isabella. I'll teach you something I should have told you before we ended your training. It's okay to celebrate from time to time. I don't get it. It's simple. Go out, do something for yourself. Throw a party and treat your friends to free food. Didn't you say the last one's some sort of tradition back at home for you? Hello, this is practically a done deal. Uh, isn't throwing a party a bit excessive? Your call. I won't say no to an invitation, by the way, in case you really are planning to throw one. A few drinks would be nice, too, thank you very much. I don't think my apartment's big enough for that. You could always move? Bloody hell, you're working in real estate. I think I'll pass. That's too much of an unnecessary expense for me. But I did promise Becca free lunch in case the sale goes well. You go do that. Hold on a sec.
today? Not a problem, ma'am. I could bring you a copy of the contract if... I'd be happy to discuss this over to you, ma'am. All right, I'll be there. Thank you. New client? Reassigned. Have you heard from Mark at all? Not since the first visit to the mansion. Why? No news from the HR yet? None at all. Boss thinks he ran away. I doubt it, though. He's too much of a wimp for that. There must be another reason. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, I've got to meet this one. I'll see you later. Zack! Becca! Well, you seem to be in a better mood today. What happened? I know that smile, Belle. Come on, still! D don't rush me! Let's order food first, okay? Don't worry, it's my treat. Oh, good. I'm so hungry, I think I'm dying. You're always hungry. Hey, not all the time. Let me guess. 
You skipped breakfast again. Not on purpose. I may have overslept by a few seconds today. Right then. Stop stalling, Isabella. What's this about? <laughs> Let us say, Rebecca. She wouldn't be inviting us out if it wasn't worth hearing out. Well, we're waiting. I'm treating you guys to a once-in-a-century thing! I I'm sorry, say that again. And this is important because... again we should celebrate because ash hole is totally missing out on my first treat ever i'm sure ash has his reasons he hasn't even apologized for calling me a scaredy cat yesterday You aren't really upset about that, are you? No, not really. But it's his loss for missing this once-in-a-century event. He did seem to be in a hurry when we parted last night after the movie. Said he got a big lead on his case. Oh, yeah, he mentioned that. But you know how he is about his work. Everything except his unholy love for bad puns is a secret. He never mentioned those to me. I ain't surprised. He's more tight lip with this one. Something about it being bigger than what they usually let him handle. Don't worry, Becca. I'll make him talk. It's not necessary. He'll talk when he wants. And if what Zack says is true, it's better if we keep our noses out of this. His job isn't exactly a walk in the park. We'll only get in the way if we pester him about it. Well, he better treat us to something other than ice cream once he solves that one. <laughs> That's Scrooge. But that's not really why you asked us out, right? I promised I'd treat you to a free lunch if the mansion got sold, yeah? You should have just told us. No need for all this fancy, secrety stuff. It was supposed to be a surprise. I made a promise, didn't I? I wasn't expecting you'd really do it. Well, it's already here. If you don't want to eat it, I'll just... No, no. Please, leave it, ma'am. We're simply humbled by your utmost generosity. Considering you're as much of a Scrooge as Ashton. Don't compare me to him. He's the one who looks like he's about to have an episode whenever he has to spend more than five pound. I honestly wish there's a way for you to see the look on your face when you haggle. Remind me to record it once. I think it's something like this. This means you're gonna be okay now, yeah? For a while. It just means we won't have to worry about paying for the treatment and the bills. But that's all that matters, right? I mean, we're not yet sure if the new medication will produce better results, but Mama and the doctor said Papa's responding well to the treatment. That's one reason to be hopeful. And with the money, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just a matter of time.
Are you sure you're not feeling under the weather, Zachary? Huh? W no, I I'm okay. No, no worries, Rebecca. Doesn't sound okay to me. It's... It, it's, it's okay. I might be feeling a little bummed out today, but, but I'm, I'm sure this will pass. Is it about the reviews this morning? You heard about those, huh? Sorry, I just happened to check on some sites this morning. Nah, nah, it's, it's, it, it's a very sensitive topic in the first place. I, I should have expected it. What reviews? It's his movie. That doesn't explain anything. Stop dangling the information, Becca. Zachary, I'm not the one supposed to be telling her about this. It's still your documentary. Is it something bad? Not bad, per se. You, you, you guys don't need to dwell on it much. Bad? Listen here. I wouldn't trivialize what those bowheads wrote if I were you. They're ruining other people's jobs! <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, Isabella. Some bow bag just insulted him! Calm down, Rebecca. Those are just reviews, and it happens a lot. <sighs> I do not care about you two, but calling the entire film and out and out drivel, you're better off watching an educational kids TV show, and worst one and a half hour of my life, among other things, isn't exactly a critique any decent movie reviewer would say. <laughs> if you could call that a critique, did we even watch the same film? Well, maybe I ain't cut out for it. I better stick with my photography or something. If nothing else, this helped me open my eyes to what I can and can't do. You're giving up. It was just something experimental I did on my free time anyway. It's, it's no big deal. But you worked on it for months. Doesn't look like it matters for those people. Don't say that! It's just a review. Except they're pretty well-known critics. Why does that matter? They aren't the ones calling the shots on this. Isn't that why they have a committee? Right, Becca? Failing means you're playing, Zack. Uh, not that I'm saying it's bad. I've seen it from start to finish, and I know for myself what you created isn't something people should scoff at. I don't know anything about filming or photography. Hell, I don't have an inkling of artistry in me except for those doodles I make for class. But I know what I watched. Look at Isabella. It's not every day you see her all riled up like this. It was a heat of the moment thing. And anyway, I'll be very angry with you if you quit. What about the exhibit? What exhibit? Classified information. Even if I bring you your favorite tonight? Nope, not a chance. Oh, come on. I thought we aren't supposed to have secrets. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Uh, I might need some time alone to myself for a while. Just to think about things, how I'll go from here, that sort of stuff. 
Hey, I'm not quitting, Bella. Don't give me that face. Promise? I'll be damned if I break any promise I make to you guys. Besides, you're right. It's too early to say anything right now. Awards night ain't for another week. Copies are ready for Miss McCullough to pick up. I'm stuck in horrendous traffic right now. Bloody stupid drivers. Oh no, stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> What happened? Bella, you okay? You were screaming. Zach, call someone. No, don't. I'm good. I'm good. I need... I need to get to the office. Rose, the floor plans. Someone's going to pick it up. 
I'll see you later. Be careful. Don't stand up yet. Stay put, Isabella. Zack, you watch over her for me. I'll call for... Uh, for someone. Thank you so much for spamming my inbox, scaredy cat. Hey, Ash. What's wrong? I just had a long day. The couple who bought the house wanted us to finish processing the papers within the week. It's a little hectic, but we'll manage. Really? You sold it? Don't sound so surprised. I told you, you don't stand a chance. The rights won't take no for an answer. You've been on the losing end from the very start. Ha! Whoever said I was interested in the house in the first place? But you said... <coughs> You're such an ass. And just so you know, I'm not treating you to a separate celebration. Or ever. No, that's just unfair. And here I was looking something up for you. Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Andrew? Is he... is he okay with that? Totally. Besides, I need to ask him about something. I might as well do it soon. What do you say you come with me tomorrow morning? Well, there's no harm in it, I suppose. I've got a free day anyway. Great, I'll just pick you up. Don't oversleep. Don't compare me to you. I'm not the one who sleeps like a rock. Yeah? Did you forget something? Are you... Do you think you... We... <laughs> Never mind. Good night.
Good morning, Ash. Can you even drive? Hold on, scaredy cat, not too fast. That hurts. What was that for? Get yourself together, will you? He's not going to bite. He's very accommodating, too. I wasn't scared of him or anything. You don't look like it. Didn't sound like you were king last night either. What was that last one? Hey, don't just ignore me. Professor Clark. It's just Andrew now. I'm no longer your professor, Detective Inspector Frey. some time but I come here early on weekends best time to get their first serving of bear claws <laughs> they're the only place that serves it here I took the liberty of ordering for you two I hope you don't mind I thought it'd be best to talk over a decent helping of coffee aren't you going to introduce the lady ah right sorry Isabella this is prof Andrew he's one of my professors back at the university Andrew, this is Isabella Santos. Santos? Portuguese? Spanish? Brazilian? Mexican? Filipina, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Ah, your name carries a lot of history, Miss Santos. Just Andrew is fine. Don't do what Ashton's doing. He doesn't listen to this old man. Ashton tells me there's something you wish to discuss that I could help with. Let's hear it then. I'm sure it's that letter I found, but I don't know anymore. 
I just want to know how to escape this nightmare. Of course. We're talking about the one in Anselm Village, aren't we? How did you... <laughs> Don't look so surprised. There's only one place popular enough here if we're going to talk about hauntings. I once had a colleague who wrote about it and the urban legends surrounding the place. Years worth of study, but fascinating. It's a shame he passed away at such a young age. He would have done a much better job at explaining topics like this one compared to me. Ashton here might disagree, but it's an interesting topic in sociology, if you care to have an open mind. Studying the science and theory behind it is completely different from outright believing in it. You don't believe in those stories, sir? Now, now, this isn't a question of belief. All I'm saying is things like these speak a lot about a place's culture and history. And it's not just limited to ghosts. Monsters, gods, you name it. Even you, Miss Santos. But what about me? How you respond to these stories. It tells a lot about you and your upbringing. In the same way it tells me why our detective inspector here finds such topics absurd. Interesting, isn't it? There's still something you're not telling. Didn't I tell you everything the other day? Yeah, but you mentioned the rights. Then you proceeded to drop the topic right after. What's with that? They don't have anything to do with this. Rights? Luke and Hana right? Yeah, they're the ones who got the place. Ah, I'm not surprised. They're the kind who gets what they want when they set their eyes on it. From what I've heard. Word gets around. <sighs> Ashton, look here. I know you're trying to help, but the deal's almost already closed. The papers are being prepared. Once it's done, it's over. I'm just their agent. And when is that happening? When what? Is there even a purpose to this line of questioning? Your working relationship with them. When's it going to end? About a week from now? It depends on how long the papers will take, but they want us to rush it. Really? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, really. Unless they want to buy a house again and want me and Rose to be their agent, if yes, then I don't see a problem with it. Now stop annoying me about it! Don't accept it. What? Why? It's my job! Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Sorry, Sir Andrew. And we're not going to solve anything either if you keep omitting things. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people think he's lazy, but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> I see that hasn't changed. Oh, really? How is he, back when he was your student? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. Students like him are the easiest to deal with, once you know what piques their interest. I'd have to say, he's one of the very few who is actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, but there was this one time when...
Ms. Santos, a word of advice. Just keep in mind that when it comes to cases such as this, they aren't always what they seem. Where are we going? You can drop me off at the park. Guess, you have three chances. I'm serious, Ash. Where are we going? Here, take it. What's this for? My arm's getting tired. Five, four, three, two. I saw the place open the other day, when we watched Zack's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that? I, uh, the other day, the movie with Zack and Rebecca, Rebecca's there, yeah, I think so, yeah. Anyway, during the movie, we, uh, that is, you, that is to say, you, uh, we, uh, shit, should have written down something first. Get to the point, Ashton. Right, I'm sorry. N not I'm sorry for, you know, not getting to the point. I'm sorry for the other day. I got carried away. I said things that upset you. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay? That's all? That's all you're going to say? You're not still angry, are you? You didn't have to buy me anything. A simple sorry would have been enough. Thanks, Ash, for today. No problem. Say hi to Rebecca for me. Yeah, I will.
Wait, Bell. Here, catch. My mom used to make me carry around one of those when I was young. To ward off evil and bring you luck, she said. I don't believe in this stuff now, but if it makes you feel safe since you're a total scaredy cat, then I guess it's okay to give you one to carry around. I, uh, gotta go. Got some reports I forgot to file the other day. Yeah, see you around. Thanks for the ice cream and the charm. Don't lose it. We won't find one here again if you do. I won't. I might move like I have two left feet, but I know how to take care of my own stuff. I'm not a total klutz. <laughs> I know. And Belle, remember that one time, Devlin Court? You... At the time, when we... What I'm trying to say is that you can rely on me, if something... anything happens. Not the exact same thing, of course, but... you get the idea. I'll be around. I'll keep that in mind. You're not that bad after all. Don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Wh 
where's your owner, anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before. A cat. Not black, of course. Uh, and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. Do you want one? Barufia! I'm sorry. Did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Brufield's not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no! He was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Brufield's a she. I'm actually surprised you have a cat, Miss Makala. And why exactly is that? There are a lot of people who have pets. Yeah, but not a black one. I'm amazed you're taking care of one. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Is there a problem with my cat? No, not at all. She's very sweet. Just in other cultures, aren't they a sign of bad luck? Nothing has happened to me so far. This is a good place to stop and end this conversation, don't you think so? It is... good to see you again, Santos. By the way, about the Irmingard Mansion, with my clients, it's the rights, I mean? I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, uh, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion. The, uh... me. I need to go too. Have a good day, Miss Wakala. In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Luxbourne police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent.
discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words, help me, repeatedly written on the walls. She'll answer. Please answer, Rose. Come on, Rose. Don't do this to me. Please pick up. I know. I know you're there, Rose. You're not dead. Please tell me you're not. This adds to the series of deaths and disappearances that has plagued Luxborn in the recent years. The authorities are currently looking at a possible link with the notorious Anselm Butcher case.
I'm sure you've all heard of what happened to Miss Cooper. She was a valued member of our team, and she will be missed. There's no date for a funeral, yet, but those who wish to attend, kindly speak with your respective supervisors. By the way, has anyone heard about our still AWOL staff? None? HR, you know what to do. Santos, a word in my office. The Lux Bomb Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. Rose is... I need to... No, if it's like this, they still won't believe me. I have to make sure of it first. Anyone there?
on a right! Officer Lee! What a pleasant surprise. I didn't think you'd have the time to attend tonight's party. 